Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi, back again. Another video coming at you. Alright. Brothers, I want you in particular to pay attention to this. And what this is, is my bad hair review and the real unintended meaning for straight Afro men. This is the meaning that we should understand as straight Afro men. So right off the top, let me greet everybody real quick. Pavorin Hardugu Dog, Ola Oi to the Bank, Vasus Los, Bonjour Mesami, Kedu Bawani Kunichiwa, Nihao Niyama, Sani Bonani, Jambo Harbaragani, Asalamu Alaikum and Shalom, Kamusta Ka, Kamusta Bokayo, and Talafalava Soy Fua to my brother out in the Polynesian Square. Alright. Brothers. I recently saw this uh, movie, Bad Hair. Now, remember I did a video on Chris Rock's good hair. I also did my first couple videos, I think my third video on YouTube ever. My third video, maybe my fourth video ever on YouTube was 10 reasons why the black women, this was the title, 10 reasons why black women should wear their natural hair. Alright? This was my first. So, I've been dealing with this is because there's a beauty that I always thought black women had that was slowly disappearing. Now, keep in mind, this video was like Maybe 2009, maybe 2010. All right. Um, and some of the responses from black women of me appreci appreciating them in their natural look, me looking at them, seeing the beauty that they had, some of the responses that I got from black women is what caused me to take this trajectory that got me to here. Because it's the thing that got me into doing the research as to what was going on in them and the change that I saw. Because one of the things that I saw that um, about this here was the change in disposition and stuff. And we've all seen it. Alright, we've all seen the attitude, we've all seen all of this. Now keep in mind um, that the hair, doesn't, it doesn't come from the Chinese, it comes from the Indians. They sacrifice it to their god, Shiva, the, the god of destruction. Right? And then after sacrificing it to their god of destruction, the Chinese come, buy the hair from the temples, process the hair, turn it into all fancy colors, and then they distribute it and sell it. And what happens is that the BAW single-handedly have made this a billion, couple billion a dollar a year industry whereby because of her everybody's children is going to college getting higher education with the exception of the afro children where the men are being extorted and the children are getting crumbs all right so what's happening here What's happening here is hindsight 2020 by the rainbow alphabet people who are in support of the BLFFLs, the BAWs, and they're coming out trying to tell, change the narrative and have them do something different because people are starting to realize 
that the BL Fifel is despised on all sides. Now, this was a ploy that might have worked before this current election cycle. All right. I want y'all to understand this. This was something that might have worked. You know, the repentant, the reconciliation. But then we saw this, that no matter what kind of hair they have, there is kind of a, a dis, a, I would say, in my opinion, a wicked disposition against good quality Afro men where that we can't even help the community in a way that we can see is the most effective without them and their simps trying to retool us black back to the plantation. This movie comes out in the midst of this. All right. So. Let me just take the time out real quick to remind y'all to um, donate to the channel, because as you know, YouTube does not monetize this channel. Why? Because they would like for this channel to be hidden because they don't like the fact that, well, I'm one of them brothers that tell y'all the truth and support my opinions with, well, documentary, with documentary, with statistics, with all the words that are coming out of people's mouths. All right, so do that. Share the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do the thumbs up. That one person that keeps thumbing down, I really don't care. Do what you do. All right, but anyway, let's roll on. All right? So, one, did we got a premise of a movie that is supposed to take place before the weed stuff took out, took off. And we got people that come in, you know, a white guy that comes in and change black culture into a cult. Now, in this, in some of the messages, you can tell that people understand, but hair isn't the only problem now. The problem is that the alphabet rainbow stealing crew have taken over the Afro community such that there is no place for a righteous man that want to do good in the community because the BL fell, i.e. the black woman, according to the queens that sip champagne or whatever that show is that I too went on. Um, if we use that as a sample group, 75% of the BL females or quote unquote black women don't think they're a part of black people. They think they're a whole subset unto themselves, an island unto themselves. And before you can do to anything for the Afro people as a whole, you best make sure you do most of what you're going to do for them first. That's basically what they said. They said, oh, that's all good um, that you're doing stuff for Afro people. But for me, I'm just for the women. This came from the BL Fifels. All right. So. All of which were wearing weave, by the way. All right. So we got this horror comedy flick. Right? That's trying to pitch a message to tell the BLF fell if they use the tools of Azazel and change again, they could keep their same heart, just change their hair. But in this movie, in this movie, they are already indoctrinated. I'm starting to make up words. They are already indoctrinated. Their hearts have already been corrupted. They have actually taught their daughters to disrespect older, wiser men. They have taught their daughters that they, as a teenager, know more than men, even in his field. 
that they are to be combative. That's what they taught them. This is Laverne Cox. Original name should be more Leroy Cox. Here's something about Weave. I put up a post a while back, and thanks to doctors and stuff, this is a TG guy with modern medicine done in such a way and weave that many people get confused whether or not this is a man, now a woman, or if this was an original woman. Not because this looks so feminine, this look here. Right? It is because that when you apply makeup to the face with makeup artists and weave, you alter the original appearance of the person so that everybody is a representation of the makeup artist and not themselves. And when people are a representation of somebody's idea of who they should be, then they are not who they are. Let me repeat that. When people are represent an, an idea of who someone else think they should be, think they should look, then they are not really who they are. They are just the representation of the makeup artist. Meaning that if this guy is a representation of a makeup artist, and a regular BAW is a representation of the same makeup artist that by the time he gets done with both of their faces, you're not going to be, te be able to tell which one is the female or which one is the male as they were born that way. Or let's put it bluntly, you wouldn't be able to tell which one that if you put a seed in them would be able to have children and which ones would not be able to have children. You wouldn't be able to tell. All right, so what happens is, and the premise of the story, the woman on the right wanted to be like an idol, the woman on the left. All right, and this is what the BL female are teaching the daughters. This is why there is so much low self-esteem. This is why there is so much disdain for the hetero Afro male that is leader or have leader qualities, period. And all this so that they could get the glory of the system or the Caucasians. This isn't about getting a job. They're not going through this because they wanted to help the, the family. They want, they're going through this because they, were, they thought they were separate for the, from the family and that they, the BL female, the BAW, the black woman, the black girl magic, should be worshipped by everybody else in the community. You understand? All right. So they would go and take Indian hair and put it on their God-given glorious Afro hair. All right. And then with that comes a, just a spiritual change or alteration where now they think they're above everybody else. And you see how they flip it. Watch an HBCU band and the prancing whatever the women are going to call themselves. They're throwing fake hair around like they actually grew it out their own scalp. And now these females are wondering why there is no respect for them. So, this is a horror flick where by you have a woman that goes to the Laverne Cox character, gets a weave sewn in that was Sacrifice to demons. 
And the message they kept trying to say is black women should always be able to wear their hair in the way that they feel. But what they really neglect to tell you is that, as you saw back at the front, that these women always could wear their hair in the way that they felt and be appreciated by Afro men. But they sold out our culture when we owned it because their desire was not to be in our community. You heard it come out of Vivica, Fox, and the rest of them females on the Queens, um, sipping champagne with Queens or something. They said, when Ice, cool, Ice Cube said he made his platinum plan for black people, he said black people, the women said, but, um, but that doesn't include black women. And then Ice Cube said black women are a part of black people. And the women argued with him, said, no, we're not. You need to do something special for black women first. And by first, they meant only. This is how we got to here. Because of spiritual corruption and immorality. And we're not talking about immorality. They lay around. No, we're talking about spiritual immorality towards the family. The, uh, the treasonous and betrayal of the, Af the good Afro man and our children. To win for them. Remember, because this is a game. You win games. You live life. To win for them is to become like the Caucasian women, they worship. And they don't worship them because of merely their skin tone and hair. They worship them because they want to be where they are. And that is next to the person that is robbing everybody of culture, destroying the world. And all the rest of that stuff. Because that's what vanity is. And that's what vanity has done for them. Again. The dudes always prefer the natural woman over the woman with weave. Not only do they get it. But they want you to take care of it, and they want you to pay for it. They want you to pay for something that you don't want. Because they think that you they are owed your worship. I was telling somebody, um, they was talking about um, my girlfriends in Brazil. And I was telling them, um, they, they won't let you buy stuff that they use to physically take care of their body. They do that. Now, when you go out, you're, you're, they want you to get them to where you want, uh, get them home, you know, and pay for the meal. But you don't, you don't buy hair products. You don't buy none of that. Maybe if they need something in an emergency, and then you go with them to the store. But outside of that, that's a private matter, but not in the United States. These females want you to pay for something that you don't want and they demand that of you. That's why we should let them hit that wall, seek other nations as mate, um, other nation of women that's going to follow us as mates, all right, and leave this crap alone. They're trying to alter themselves to come at us differently with the same BS. Brothers, if they ain't in line with the man commandments, kick them to the curb. And remember, commandments give you a lot of freedom than the church does. With that said, I'm out.